In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to take our first look at working with the Theme Designer. This is used in conjunction with the Magic Movie Wizard. Uh, PowerDirector comes with a host of themes, and when you use the wizard, it, you pick a theme and then it makes a movie around the theme. But what if you don't like it the way it exists? You can actually modify it. Now, there's some things you can't change, but there's some things you can, and that's what we're going to focus on. If you've never used the Magic Movie Wizard, I'd like to recommend you first go to our lesson here at Sharper Turtle called How to Step Through the Magic Movie Wizard. Because the things I'm going to be doing at the first, I've covered more slowly and in more detail in that tutorial. But what I have now is I have these nine items in my bin, and I've taken two still images and two videos, put them on track one. Now, as we covered in that other lesson, I'll click my movie wizard, and I'll choose the items on my timeline, which are those four I selected. I'll click next, and I'll pick a, uh, a style. I'll take the film strip for now and click on next. And I can put in some background music if I want to. I'll click on this file. Again, we cover this more slowly in the other lesson. And then I'll click on Next. And now it's trying to make a movie out of that content using the wizard. Now, one of the things we're going to do that we didn't do in that other exercise is focus on this button down here. When you get this far along in the process, it says edit in the theme designer. So we're going to begin to look at what we can do there. So I'll click on that button. And now it gives me a whole new screen that we have to explain to you. We have two tabs on the left. The first is the media. This is the same media that we have in our regular media bin. Uh, I have video clips and I have two still images. And then we also have effects. And there are certain places in the uh, theme where I can change the effects. But we won't focus on that right now. At the top, we have the different parts of the built-in theme that I picked. And as I click on each one, it shows you uh, a little bit about that theme and then the pictures, it is included in the theme. It's just arbitrarily drawn them in. And so I can also take any of these boxes and drag one in front of the other and change the order of these components. For example, in this one here, uh, it starts out with picture one, and I don't have a picture one. Uh, so what I can do is I can take any of the uh, content over here and drag it in, and that will become my picture one. Or if I don't like something here, I can right-click on it and remove it, and it's gone. But before I'm done, I'm going to want to populate that with something, or my finished product will look weird. So I'll take and I'll take these, this duck and put it back here. So that's what I can do. Now, if I want to add more media, all I need to do is say, well, gee, there's another shot I could use here. I click on Import Media, and uh, we'll go ahead and go to one of my display files here. I'll take this baseball here and import that. And now that's an option that I could put into a cell or replace it. I could take this uh, picture of the vehicle, right-click, and remove it. And then if I want to replace it with a baseball, I just drop it, and I have it there. So that takes this position. I cannot change anything here except what's in these empty boxes that start with numbers. Um, but I can change the sequence here. And if you want to play, when I hit the playhead here, it will play only what's in the blue box. Okay. So if I click play now, what it will do is it will follow its process it's kind of boring to watch at this point in time but watch what happens when it gets to the next diamond 
it will change the content. You notice when I hold the mouse over, it tells me what it's triggered at that moment in time. And all this is programmed. Okay, and there I have the car for that length of time. And then we move to the ducks, and so on it goes. Now, if I want to see, I'll stop that. If I want to see what's in the next segment, I click on that one. And then I can use my playhead. I can drag it across, or I can actually play it. And that's what happens in the next two. This one contains a still picture, and it contains a video. The same thing with the next blue box. Again, uh, if I want to see what it does here, I can't control these in and out points. Uh, they are set. They are not. They're nothing I can I can change except for one item, and I'll show you in a moment what that is. And this shows you what will play. So basically, I'm not doing my own design. I'm doing some modification. And then if we get to the la the uh, one over here. Now this one, when I click on this, it says title. The title is the end, and I can change the text there uh, to whatever I want, and I have a subtext I can put in as well. And there are a few that even allow you to change the backgrounds. But it just depends on the controls that are built into each of these boxes in the sequence of your theme. You can control what picture is associated with which number. Um, but And you can control the order of these boxes. You can actually put the end at the beginning if you want to. Um, and uh, if I do that here, let me, drag, let me drag my baseball up here. And if I hit my uh, play button, my previous screen, that's what I have. So... I can control which image is associated with which number in which part of the sequence. And if it's number one uh, here, it doesn't have to be number one over here. There is another thing you can do. This says continue from last clip in the previous sequence. And so what you can do is you can cause the first slide to be the same as the previous slide, or you can turn that off and you'll and it you will uh, have the opportunity of changing it to a completely different image. Here now it doesn't contain that one. It's uh, disjointed. So if I wanted uh, something in there, I would have to draw that in. Otherwise, if I click Continue, it populates it with the last one in the previous uh, sequence. Those are some of the things that you can do. Now, to make this short, we're going to stop here. And I'll pick it up in part two in a moment.